Kathy Jakopovich is the founder, president, and designer of Peachy Keen Stamps. Kathy has a huge fan following and made her debut here a few weeks ago on Cool to Craft. Today, Kathy is returning to join us to show you how to punch, stamp, and color your own embellishments featuring Peachy Keen Stamps. I am delighted to welcome Kathy Jakopovich. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Tiffany. Hello, everybody. Thanks so much for asking me to come back. Glad to see y'all. Well, today I'm going to show you the little um, embellishment that you saw earlier on the clip. I decided later to put a little bow on her. She's so cute and so easy to make. You can use any punch. You can use any of our face stamps. Fit all kinds of different punches and die cuts. Oh, I'm doing this backwards. Okay, here we go. Anyway, um, I colored it with Copics, and I'm just going to show you real quick how I did this. I started out with the Stampin' Up! Punch uh, one and three quarter inch scallop circle. And that's right here. Then what I did is I started out with my Copics and I just colored, I started with the BG00040. And I just colored it in very quickly. Nothing special. No special stroke, no special anything really. So simple to use these. And they blend real nice. Then I just took the next color up, which is the BG000, which is three zeros. And I pulled the color in just like this from each petal. And I continued doing that, taking the next, I went all the way around. And then I took the next color, which is the BG01. And I started pulling color in this way also. Just keep going around. I did touch in a little bit of this darker, the blue, the BG02. Just in certain areas. And then when you're all done, take your first color and you can just touch in to blend. These are so easy to use, really. And don't be intimidated by anybody's work because everybody's at a different a different stage. I had a lady this weekend tell me that um, she wouldn't do our, our challenges anymore because she was intimidated and it made me sad because everybody has a learning curve and everything does. Now what I'm going to do with my little scallop here is I'm going to go ahead and stamp the face on there and I chose one of our um, our new stamps out of this set it's the PK 500 snow cutie face assortment and you can find I know it's going to be backwards I had to flip my camera but you can find just about any size face in that particular assortment that'll fit a lot of different punches. I've even done some small. That's a little flower from a, a die cut. So anyway, when, when you use our stamps, you just want to tap the ink onto your stamp. And I'm just tapping, not pushing. And I'm not going to push real hard. I'm going to center it and stamp. You can do this before or after you color it. I'm going to give this little girl some cheeks. And I learned this particular little trick from my friend Lori. Lori's out there right now. I'm using um, R000, three zeros. And I'm just going to touch in her cheeks. I'm going to go back with the R20 
and I give it just a little bit of color underneath. I'm using the new Copic paper and I absolutely love it. The only thing is it doesn't dry real quick. So you have to let that set in order for it to for you to see exactly what it's going to look like when it's done. So I'm just going back in with this I want it darker. And just blending back over it with the first color. Oh, and you could do her little nose too. Then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to use a glue stick. And this happens to be the Lean's Tacky Glue glue stick. Works like a charm. And I'm just going to do three layers of the same scallop to give it some thickness. And after you get all three lit, you see it's just really well. After you get all three layers on, I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it over. And I looked everywhere. I don't know if anybody out there knows if the Aline still makes the um, triple thick um, glue. I used to use that for this, for doing stuff like this with paint, but I couldn't find it. Now what I'm using over the top of this is um, by Ranger. It's Glossy Accents. And I found this, is, this works well with the Copics. And I'm just going to squirt this over the top of her. And then all I did, just use my finger and I just moved it around. When you start to get toward the edges, you want to put this on a piece of plastic. And I'm just using a leftover bag here. And then while this is wet, you can sprinkle your glitter on here, add a bow. I added my bow later because she looked too naked. I took my, um, this, no matter if you use a brush or your fingertips or anything, this is going to dry super glassy. It's cool. Not glossy, glassy. It looks like glass. I'm just tapping this around here. She is done. She just needs to dry and she's done. When she's dry, this is the cool part about these. These are super durable and um, you can add a pin to the back. I made one out of a little ornament here. And um, that's basically um, how you make this embellishment. You can use a magnet, a pin, um, put her in a shaker card, put her in a scrapbook layout. Um, if you want a big earring, go ahead, put big earring.